Why is there on YouTube? It's way past midnight. I'm very sleepy. Sorry about that. What I'm trying to do right now is to get first smoke off. I go with an Hogwarts so with wrong twist in my Dagner pipes. Semi, semi, George Warden slash Devilance. That's better. Using the scariest temper I have. <laughs> probably turn this camera on and off a couple of times as I get through the smoke because that way you'll probably get a better understanding of what it is and I'll get a better understanding of what it is say probably escaped all the problems people usually have with preparing this tobacco. Let me show you. Put it in the jar. As you can probably see there's a little big chunk, a couple of leaves, and the rest is just loose stuff. So I took the loose stuff and cut it up, rubbed it out, and I used that. So I only think I gave it a good, you know, half an hour drying time, and it's and it was, you know, crispy when I packed it. So. Thoroughly dry now. And the smoke I'm getting so far is pretty. pretty dry, not exactly in the moisture content, but the taste itself is somewhat dry, like you are smoking. smoking almost like you know dried leaves so, something like that today was a hectic day I must say that went skiing in the morning but then I to take a walk with my kids and my wife and my wife she's, she's lost her voice <laughs> she she used to be singing tomorrow so she's freaking out and Russians have at you know middle of the day meal. The kids went to sleep and my wife went out to get some medicine for her throat and pick up an online order or something like that. And it was at precisely that time that the goddamn people at my apartment block council decided to go door to door and get signatures for some 
paperwork. Needless to say, they woke both the kids and my girl is she's still pretty pretty young and pretty small so she freaked out because her mom is not there. And I don't like her freaked out because I'm a father, you know, like a biological father. I don't know, it didn't exactly ruin the day, but you know, that coupled with the fact that I'm pretty sore from the skiing. It doesn't make me a very pleasant, you know, conversationalist or something like that. I'll turn the camera off and get back to you, you know. 20 minutes because it's probably a 30 minute bowl for me at least. We'll see how it develops. If it does develop at all, so far I don't see any transitions or something like that. We'll see. Probably halfway through by now. No changes. Constant relights, but that's probably due to my crappy cadence. Still, that you have a dry, varied tobacco. Tobacco. Tobacco mm. taste. Funny thing, it's actually, I think, advertised as. Not advertised, but. Labeled as an aromatic or tobacco of use. Let me tell you folks, there is nothing aromatic about this one. Just a straight tobacco. And uh, those people who are feeling nauseous and complaining about the strength of the blend, uh, It's a pretty, you know, small bowl, so I'm not in their league, obviously, but I don't feel anything in particular, you know, no dizziness, no nothing. So probably taking it slow and having a small bowl. Someone has to smoke that, and you now he's afraid of the strength. You know, that's probably the way. You see, I'm drawing quite heavily on that. And I'm exhaling through my nose, and I really don't feel it all that much, really. Thick walled bowl is getting hot, so I probably should stop. I want to say three, three more things. Uh, I missed, as I usually do. I'm very sloppy on, you know, giving proper attention to people. I really care about. Sorry about that. I mean, people on the YTBC. So I missed the video by Beer Beard, in which he reported the results of his tests, and uh, those tests confirmed that he actually has cancer, and that's uh, that really hit me on the head today in the afternoon when I got around to watching that. I'm very, very sorry to hear this, but like I already commented on his video, you know, Knowing, knowing it, you know, well, you can still treat that, 
you, that's that's the good news. You, know, you can consider this good news in any case. That's just one. You know, so you know, having an opportunity to treat this is better than nothing, I guess. You know, I, you know, all my thoughts and sympathies, whatever I can do, I cannot pray really. Go to you, Stephen. Hang in there. And please don't stop making videos. You know, I, uh, I'm sure many people enjoy those. I know I do. <laughs> I also made a comment on. I was looking at this sweet wrong twist. You know, whatever reviews people are posting, I saw a review of. I think he called it a wrong pigtail twist by Pip from Pip's Papery Practices. Thanks for that. Uh, and I also watched a review by, uh, I think it, the guy you know, goes by the nickname English Pipe Smoker, and I enjoy his videos quite a bit, but he stopped making those. And I commented on his video, complimenting him on the review, and he actually replied, but he somehow ignored the comment I made to the last video he posted, I think, in last year, or 2016, when I said, please, when I said, please, keep on making videos. <laughs> if you're watching this, please keep on making videos. I do love these. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I stopped. And I also, Brian Brandon is making, uh, like I said, he is back with Avengers. He, he's making videos, cranking them up, you know, like crazy. I like that. <laughs> Probably I'll have to say about the com community wise, and I'll probably stop because there's nothing happening. So, sweet rum twist is a quite a potent non aromatic twist tobacco. I think I in the what have we learned, kids section I can say that I probably got the preparation, twist preparation sorted out and you know, for those of you who are afraid of buying this because of, you know, it's harder to prepare, you know, spend a little time on that you know, 15 to 20 minutes plus, you know, ample drying time, it will be fine. Just like a, you know, regular shag cut or ribbon cut or something like that. Flavor-wise, I don't see myself buying this again, because there's nothing happening, really. And the phone is out of memory again. Cut to drop the file into my PC. So, trying to avoid the glare. So, final thoughts on Gallican Hogarth's Sweet Rum Twist, as of now. Uh, first up, nothing aromatic about this one. Second up, nothing to be afraid in respect to preparation and, you know, smokeability. And three, as far as I'm concerned, nothing in the flavor department that really caught my eye. It's a, you know, tobacco, tobacco. So if someone loves you likes this, give it a try. Don't be scared. If you want something more from the smoke, probably you could give it a pass. Uh, also, like to dress. I all oh, I keep forgetting to do this because <laughs> I'm always in the rush because I the time limit. If you have, if you people have anything interesting re to report regarding twist tobacco, if there's a blend you'd like, you can 
recommend probably with something more of a you know usual taste or just something you would like me to try you would advise me to try <laughs> uh, please do much appreciated in advance apart from that I thank you very much for dropping by and I'll be back soon with another video probably not next week because we have two birthdays my wife's birthday is on the 15th and mine is on the 16th so I'll probably be pretty busy next week despite the fact I'm not actively celebrating it with my you know friends etc well until then happy puffing uh, and see you soon hopefully bye